Hey guys, how you going? This is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another JavaScript lesson. Last lesson, what we learned was how to use the if statement to check what we have entered into a text box. So if I type 15 here and click check, it tells me my answer is correct. Otherwise, it tells me my answer is wrong. So hopefully you guys have learned how to do that properly. And now what we're going to do is use the random number generator in JavaScript to generate some random numbers for us. So instead of 5 plus 10, it could come up with something like 3 plus 7. So what we want to do is generate a random number between um, 1 and 10. And let's start off by um, creating another variable called uh, number one okay and I'm declaring this outside my output name function and I'm gonna call number one and I'm going to generate a random number okay and what I'm gonna do is display this number inside my form so uh, I'm going to Inside form one, I'm going to create another paragraph called ID um, quotation mark question. Okay, so inside the form, I have a paragraph called question, and I'm going to output number one, okay, to the question paragraph. So I'm going to paste this code here and I'm gonna put equals and I'm gonna put number one okay I just wanna see if that works so let's refresh this now and uh, notice how it didn't work because here I have demo so that should say question okay so let's refresh that and it has worked it has generated a random number and it's put my number in the section or in the paragraph with an ID called question. So it's put that number there. Now notice how this number is between 0 and 1. So whenever you generate a random number using the random function, um, it generates a number between 0 and 1. So what we want to do is because we want to generate a number between 1 and 10 we're going to multiply this number by 10 and if we save that and refresh notice how my numbers are now between um, 0 and 9 right because originally it was between 0 and 1 and because I have multiplied it by 10 so now it's between 0 and 10 okay but the number 10 is hardly ever going to come up right because it's going to be nine point something it's not going to be 10 exactly uh, well not very likely so what I'm going to do now is round this number down so I'm going to round that using math.floor and what that does the floor function um, is going to round whatever number I have here down okay so it's gonna for example here where it says 3.5 it's gonna round it down to 3 so if I refresh the page now um, there's all of these random numbers between 0 and 9 now okay because 9 point something has been rounded down to 9 so if I plus 1 in the final answer here Oh, sorry before I round it down then what's gonna happen is it's gonna give me a number between 1 and 10 okay so the number 10 should pop up pretty soon hopefully um, let's just wait for it to come up number 10 see number 10 just came up uh, sorry if you have missed that but anyway now we have generated one random number let's generate a second one so that's number one let's generate second number um, 
And now I'm going to output the screen number one quotation mark plus so number one plus quotation mark plus quotation mark plus number two and then plus quotation mark equals so what does this mean this means we're going to output the variable number one um, and add it to the string plus and then we're going to output the number two variable and then we're going to put on the end of that the string equals so if I refresh the page so if I refresh the page now I will get 2 plus 2 equals 5 plus 3 equals so these are all totally random numbers so that is pretty cool okay now what I want to do is get rid of my old 5 plus 10 equals okay so I'm getting rid of that okay and um, so now if I refresh the page it's got 4 plus 5 equals now my text box is not on the same line which is a bit of a problem so if I get rid of that will it put this on the same line no so I we're gonna fix that a bit later but the idea behind this tutorial is that we want it to generate some random numbers for us okay and then when I type the number in and click check hopefully it's gonna be able to tell me whether my answer is right okay so now instead of y equals 15 okay so that 15 was hard-coded into the program now instead of 15 I'm going to put number one plus number two okay if I save that refresh and now if I type 13 it tells me I'm wrong but if I type 15 it tells me I'm right okay and let's refresh the page again one plus seven is eight check tells me I'm correct if I put three check it tells me I'm wrong okay so now we have a random um, number generated quiz which is pretty interesting okay thanks for watching guys see you next time